All right, wonderful people, lovers of freedom. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to each and every one of you. Welcome back to Let's Talk TV, your one and only YouTube platform, where they're giving a back to back update on how things they be, on how things they should have for Biafra land and beyond. If you're joining us for the first time, remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too. Also, remember to like and share this broadcast as it hot. All right, my wonderful people, the latest one with the bust brains. Yes, uh, as the hot coming straight from the PM, Simon Eba. Yes, the first thing he's saying here at the moment, yes, is delegitimization de of Nigeria and the legitimization of the Biafra government to start from 2nd December 2024. My people, it is on the heat as we are talking to you at the moment because it is not a joke because uh, yes uh, there was a live that just took place on the Biafra declaration on 2nd of December 2024 is a meeting where um, uh, USA town hall meeting rather that actually was uh, of a full um, blown issue concerning everything that concerns the movement and that is the truth of the matter what I am trying to say here is that this meeting held and uh, it was a success that is just the truth of the matter i want to let you know that it was a success and uh, the 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 end of the meeting was so successful that uh, um, a whole lot of things were discussed and the pm was able to to address so many issues uh, together with uh, some of the ambassadors that are connected or that were in the meeting especially in the usa so yeah um at this particular point, uh, yes, uh, he said, good for at Michael Robin to expose Nigerian federal government's mistreatment of its Biafran people in the national sector. With so many Nigerian crises, it's often overlooked. Yes, Nigeria is a key U.S. relationship, but its government should not get a free pass for abuses. So, which means at some point, uh, people have get started getting the wind of the fact that uh, the, the Biafra government and the, the Biafra people are being uh, um, taken for granted and have been abused. Yes, that is one thing that uh, we've always wanted them to come to come to terms with. And of course, the PM has said, honored to have Ambassador Tibo Nagi retweet Dr. Michael Robbins' article on Biafra. As you are aware, I have engaged with Ambassador Nagi previously through the BLGIE, that the Biafra Republic government in exile, and uh, lobbyists. Our lobbyists are making our voices heard at the highest levels in the Washington, D.C. Uh, that is it. And uh, this is what the PM is saying, which is our lobbyists and people that are walking towards uh, every single person on earth hearing about what is happening uh, in the Biafra in the Biafra and about Biafra in uh, the zoo country is being done. Yes. You say thank you again, Nagi, for retweeting Michael Robin's Biafra article and for your comments on Nigeria's mistreatment of the Biafran people. It is a great honor for Biafrans to be discussed by someone of your prestige and eminence. My people, it means that we are taking big steps forward and uh, as a matter of fact, it is one of the things that we've been looking forward to. The big steps only, only that is the only thing we are looking forward to, just the big steps. And uh, it is something that we will keep on looking forward to because at the end, it is only these big steps that will determine how far we will go and uh, the hard work of the lobbies that have been working, that are working towards every single thing, that will determine how far we will be able to achieve. Because of course, we cannot, we know we cannot do it alone. And there uh, are people that are fighting for our movement uh, or our freedom we need the all the we need all the help we can get and we are going to get all the help that we need step by step step by step the legitimization of uh, the zoo government and the legitimization of the biafra government is soon to come and i hope that we are ready for every single thing that is to come soon because of course it is not going to be a joke it's not going to be something that they uh, would wake up and uh, see something about and would not be happy with the progress my people it is one of the greatest things that has ever happened and believe you me it is not there uh, it's not that uh, we are not worthy of everything that is happening at the moment we are worthy of it and we are ready <laughs> my people i am letting you know that at this point that we are ready to do every single thing that is being done and they uh, will be able to go forward no matter 
what happens. And so, my people, yes, listen to the next set of uh, things and the next set of voices, uh, recordings that you hear right now. This would be essential with every single thing you lay your hands on concerning the Biafra movement. Okay. Thank you. And the good people. Everybody mentions the name of God. And they, they, most times they call the name of God for, for, for uh, even when they are committing evil. When they are doing evil, when they are committing atrocities, they still mention the, the name of God. For instance, like some fake Indiporong Wafa men of God, some, some fake Indiporong Wafa men of God, some fake Kachuku. They are doing evil at the same time calling God. So God is the first first thing, first being. Sorry, I, I don't have to say thing. First being. But because what I'm saying is, is something that has to do with, uh, you know, thing. That's why I use that word, thing. First being that suffers so much in this world. Then the second one is the word called truth. Ezioku, that Ezioku, that word called Ezioku is the most suffered thing in the whole world. The number one thing that suffers all over the world is in this world, not after God, is that word called truth. Because when you are lying, you say, I'm, I, I, I can, I'm telling you the truth. When you edge the go digging a kawano, edge the red handed, you see, say, you say, this is the truth. Imagine a, 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 a sabo, a well known sabo who is working with Ifa Nyoba that kidnapped Mazenam that joined hands together and provided the private jet, Edge Webunata Mazenam de Kano to Nigeria. If I knew about that kidnapped Mazinam the Kano. And this idiot, this criminal, is working with the same man. I don't have to bring the picture because it's already in the in the public. I'm sure almost all of you listening to me right now is aware of the uh, of what I'm talking about. If I knew gave this boy members of a bubagon in a navy, okay, not a but his own if I uh, 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 group of kidnappers in the name of Newi, Newi Vigilante Group. If Anyoba gave him, gave this idiot, his members, his gang of kidnappers to guide and protect him with a pump action when this guy traveled to Nigeria. We all saw it. We saw he visited Ifa Anyoba. We saw it. It is in the public. This idiot said that the reason why he cannot support a, a Biafra the reason why he cannot support Biafra restoration is because he has a political ambition. When I say he cannot, he said he cannot support Biafra restoration. Yes, that is exactly what he meant, because he said the reason why he cannot support the buying of uh, Zoo Janjawi terrorist army is because of his political solution. So if you don't support the buying of those occupiers, those that have buyed our our youths repeatedly without paying the, the, the prices until this let, uh, current generation came into this very struggle. And you don't support the, us chasing them out of our land because simply because you have a political ambition under Nigeria, then wh who are you? You are a sabo. You are a sabo. This idiot working with Ifan, when I exposed him in the year 2021, I told you that he is the Ifan Yoba campaign manager. I don't know if we know, let me just, let me just do a, a, a brief referendum to know how many, how many old people are here. How many old timers in the chain on and here. Do you remember when I exposed this criminal and I, I told the whole world that he is the campaign manager of Ifanyoba, and I showed you a, a certain page, a secret page that he's using to campaign for Ifanyoba. How many of you remember? Just the sincere. I want to know the old timers here. He's Moni, instant loan online. Get it today. Four different hacks that you could implement.
like my today, you get more followers on Instagram without posting more. In fact, this crater right here, just use these tips to gain over timers here. I want to know the old timers, <laughs> and I will mention your name. I will call you. Who gets a maka? That name looks familiar. Emmanuel Eyebo, Eyobe. Emmanuel, I think that name also is familiar. Oh, go course, of course, is familiar. Charity Simon, Tony Wobodo, Ebero Kafo, Jemima, of course, is a familiar name. Chairman Mbahotu, of course. Iwune, okay, Cliff Eber, of course. Okay, okay, I can see, I can see. I'm not alone here. I'm not alone. <laughs> I'm not alone. We are many here. Ndiochi ibe mo on 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 abiaru go. You are welcome. You are welcome. Uh, high scent, of course. I can see you. I can see you. Um. Okay. We are many. We are many. All right. We have to continue. Now, this idiot, this very uh, 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 oluku, this okoko, hmm, was campaigning FIFA, but with a diff, with a fake account, which I exposed him. Of course, he came out. He came out on a boy. Mbe mbe me buy si ni me ni me obokro. He doan ya something on my pota ni ke. Ozbom me expose on my pota boom. I watched a video where he said he was exposing me, telling Soludo to uh, use my voice to to track me. He claimed that I am the same person with the boy they called. Um, what was the name of that guy? There's then uh, what's the name of that guy? There's that guy. He said that I'm the same person with that guy that I am disguising. Uh, he said I'm disguising with that guy. There's that guy. I think I hope I I remember his name. Oma potanike, oma potanike by force. See no 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 no. Uh, it's not me. Uh, my name is Eguato. Uh, 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 I am not this person. <laughs> Mad people everywhere. <laughs> now, now, he said all I say, all I'm saying is the truth. All I'm saying is the truth. Which truth? Which true King Solomon think I'll be watching the comment to see the person who is going to mention the correct name. King Solomon, Benny, we thank you. Jim uh uh, uh, uh for thank you. Yes, on channel full everything. So he said that I, I was King Solomon. That is what he said. He came out he was calling Soludo on that video, telling Soludo to use my voice to track me down. That I'm the same person with King Solomon. That is what he did. Because I exp I exposed his criminality with Ifa Nyoba. Mad people everywhere. Now, let us talk about this idiot. He said what he's saying is the truth. What is the truth? Who have chosen to always stand by the side of truth? Imagine. I don't know if I can't get more. I don't know if I can't get more. Hey! Is your quarter born when I for four again? Hey, Chineke, more you because I understand that the only thing that can give you freedom is truth. 
<laughs> Mad people. Anyway, I have not come here to expose him. I have come here to send a message to him. So let's let's continue listening to his to the to the rubbish he's talking. Irrespective of the word that he's using, let's listen to him. Because our Bible said, if you know the truth. The truth will set you free. Equal to a Bible. Or quite the same equal to Bible, Jesus Christ. See ya. Now, now, equal to quote to Jesus Bible. Now, equal to quoted Bible for Jesus. Jesus, where we are, get behind me. Get behind me. Equal to quote to Bible. So it's not a new thing. And because of this, I want to make my stand known to all of you today. Okay. And I would like you to listen attentively. On my last two video, I made a pronouncement that if the leader of indigenous people of Biafra had PI in court, that's the, I think, three days ago, the court appearance of the leader of indigenous people of the effort. If he eventually appear in court and refuse to tell us or to let people know not to tell us because people like myself knew that the boy called Simon Eber is not a member or either working with us in IPOB. I can't tell whether he's working with the leader of indigenous people of Biafra or not, but so long as I'm concerned, as a member of IPOB, I... First of all, he said that uh, he stands for the truth, and here he has already lied the first one. He has lied already. Now he has lied. Let's listen to him. Maybe you, maybe you did not dictate the, the lie, but, but just pay attention. Listen. But... So long as I'm concerned, as a member of IPUB, I knew that he's not working with us. He's not with us. Now listen. But not everybody knows this. And there's a whole lot of a kind of, um, you know, statements from this guy. Kind of, um, he has passed it. But not everybody knows with us. Member of IPUB, I knew mm -hmm. that he's not working with us. He's not with us. Mm -hmm. Listen now. But not everybody knows this. No, no, no. I think he has passed it already. People like myself okay. knew that the boy called Simon Eber is not a member or either working with us in IPUB. Mm hmm. I can't tell whether he's working with the leader of indigenous people of Biafra or not. Did you hear that? He said he can't tell whether he is working with the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra or not. Listen, this is a lie because he can tell. I can authoritatively assure you, Biafrans, that this idiot can tell. Us, if Simon Ekpa is working for him or not. Now, <clears throat> Mazi Simon Ekpa has said it repeatedly, not once, not twice, not thrice, not four times. Hey, he has said it many times on different occasions. First of all, he said earlier on in the year 2021, after the kidnap of Mazi Namdekan, he said that we cannot take order from anybody in the dss custody this idiot was among the people who fought against it yes he used it to, to do program for many years mazinam dekana again said he came out to explain what he meant the reason why he said so which we all know because we are going to fight brutally and we don't want them to use anything that we are going to do moving forward 
against Mazinam de Kano. So he disassociated Mazinam de Kano from whatever we are going to do moving forward since 2021. That is number one. And number two, he also said that Mazinam de Kano can give order under duress, which is not going, may not be what he wanted inside his heart or what he what he's going to do if he was free these are two tangible reasons that we are not even in any way supposed to take order from mazinam de Kano in the dungeon it is not possible i've never seen in any freedom fighting movement where anything like that uh, anything as such happened i've never seen it before and it shouldn't have started from us it shouldn't have started with us so if you say that uh, you are not sure if uh, Simon Ekpa is working for Mazinam de Kano or is working with Mazinam de Kano you don't know whether he's working with Mazinam de Kano or not how can you say that when you know Mazi Simon Ekpa is working for Bia France I, I will come to that side because I think he said something like that so I will come there so he knows he knows very well and we are not supposed to be working with mazinam de kano mazinam de kano is in the hands of the enemies so why should we be working with mazinam de kano that means all these years we've been listening to him we don't know what he taught us and we don't know history we don't know how to fight for freedom until mazinam de kano comes out we will show him look at what we have done Look, this is where we are, and uh, this is where we are targeting to be. And uh, okay, what is your own take? He will bring his own ideas, and we move forward. If we have not restored Biafra before his release, but if his coming out is with the Biafra flag at the same time. Then so be it. But if you are thinking that Mazinam de Kano is coming out again to continue to go to go back to Radio Biafra and continue broadcast, are you are you normal? Are you normal? Are you really normal? That is why they say they are working underground because they know nothing about freedom fighting. Now let's listen to him. At least one lie. But so long as I'm concerned. As a member of IPUB, I knew that he's not working with us. He's not with us. But not everybody knows this. And there's a whole lot of a kind of, um, you know, statements from this guy that when you listen to, I, when I say this guy, I mean Simon Eber. When you listen to him, My BVN has been registered for two years. His statement is making it to look like he's actually working for the leader of indigenous people of Biafra or the killings they are currently carrying out in our land. They are doing it because of the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. Even on now. video now uh let he said something let's listen to that again they are currently carrying out a kind of um you know statements from this guy that when you listen to his statement is making it to look like he's actually working for the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. Now, I want him to pay attention. Please, if you are here and you haven't shared this broadcast, I don't know what you are waiting for. Like as I told you, we have only one hour to stay here. Right now, it is 38 minutes past uh, 6 p.m. in Biafra land. That means we have 20 more minutes to go because the prime minister will be coming to America very, very shortly. So please, we are here to send a, a very strong message to Ikengu Ruago, who has today denounced Mazinam Dekano and denounced Biafra 
entirely. He denounced IPOB he official. Although he has resigned before, he resigned before many years. I think that was in 2022. He resigned. He tendered he a resignation letter and uh, he made it public on, uh, on a video. So when we, you know, our guy Bialo Majia, our guy Bialo Moya Amo, too many, too much Amo, and then this picture, Bira Puenu, this picture, okay, the picture, no. Picture, no, Bia Mapotanike. People began to share this picture here and there, here and there, you know. He can, he can, he, uh, he, 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 or say no 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 this guy can never end me in this struggle it's not possible i can never end end the end the agitation because of someone else in fact i'm not resigning again i want to get angry resign simon and today two years uh, uh, along the line Oh, resign he go for the second time but this one now he denounced ipob denounced mazinam de kano denounced biafra also go a big already that he, he he has interest in politics so probably that is where he's heading to now um he said that uh some of the comments that mazi simon Ekpam is making is showing that he is working for for Mazinam de Kano. Now, I want to lecture him a little bit within two minutes. In case you have forgotten, let's hear him again. This is what he said. His statement is making it to look like mm. he's actually working for the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. Have you heard it? Now, you can go rag and your likes. Mazi Simon Epa, Biafra Unite, or any Biafran, no sing apart from the criminals in the DOS where you where you're running out from. Nobody, let me make it clear today. Please, Tosa knows that. Nobody, I said. Nobody is working for Mazinam de Kano in this agitation. I will explain that. Just pay attention. No single person is working for, unless you do not understand the meaning of your English. Now, nobody, even the time Mazinam de Kano be free, nobody is working for Mazinam de Kano for that word for nobody is working for Mazinam de Kano. You can say he's working with that will be understandable. You know why nobody is working for Mazinam de Kano because this is freedom fighting movement. We are all fighting for our freedom. No, when you say working for Maz um, I'm employed. Unless you are talking about the uh, like Chike Dozefa and Aku Gwama. Chike Dozefa, China Samuru, these guys receive thousands, uh, thousands of euros on a monthly basis. They receive thousands of euros on a monthly basis. Unlike me, nobody pays me salary. No single person, including till today. Nobody pays me salary. So, how can I be working for you when I'm fighting for my own freedom? Are you okay? Are you no more? With Mazinam de Kano as a free man, none of us is working for him because he never employed any of us mm -hmm. in the first place. We join the struggle to fight for our to help him fight for the freedom of our of our people. Mm -hmm. We are not employed to work for him. Mm -hmm. Unless you do not understand the difference between working with somebody and working for somebody. Mm -hmm. Maybe you do not understand the difference. Because I can authoritatively tell you that Mazi Simon Ekpa has never for one day worked for Mazi Namdekano, whether when he was free and now that he's in the hands of the enemies. Nobody, not even me, 
I am the one who used to do 10 things we learned from Mazinam Dekano's uh, live broadcast. I, I am the one who was doing it. I never worked for Mazinam Dekano. Never. If you are looking for who is working for Mazinam Dekano without payment, I would have been the one because I'm the one who was doing 10 things we learned from Mazinam Dekano's live broadcast. It was my program. Yes. So stop telling me working for who is working for who. Maybe DOS in the ocean. Because they, they are working being paid salaries. So they are working for Mazinam.